हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर गजेंद्र प्रोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्क देन आवर चैनल इज हेल्पफुल नाउ आई हैव स्टार्टेड अपलोडिंग द इनफाइनाइट सीरीज टू वेर आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट वेन विल द इनफाइनाइट सीरीज कन्वर्जेस एंड वेन इट विल नॉट कन्वर्ज I have told you about many tests such as p test geometric test ratio test dilembert ratio test and comparison test i have explained you all today i am going to tell you about the cauchy integral test it is very important sometimes what happens is that the proof of the p series test is asked in the exam that for p is greater than 1 it is convergence if the value of p is less than or equal to 1 it's divergent and that proof comes in exam and we get that proof from this test here okay students Let's discuss about the Cauchy integral test. If x is greater than or equal to one, and we have f as a non-negative monotonically decreasing integrable function, look, students. First, we should have a monotonically decreasing function, and it should be positive, and also it should be integrable. If this is f here, then furthermore, f n is equal to u n, and this we have a random series where the nth term is given as u n for all n belongs to u n. Then we move to the next step. The summation n is equal to one to infinity u n or integration one to infinity f x d x, and both will either converge or both will diverge. I hope this is clear to you, students. If we can get the value of summation of u n to exist finitely, only then it will said to be convergent. Otherwise, not clear. On the other hand, if the value given here does not exist finitely, then this series will be called divergent. Right? Therefore, for an infinite series. we can find using the integration to determine whether its improper integral exists finitely and if yes then in that case its corresponding series will converge here i hope you get this now students i will give you some more examples and will try to explain them one by one the p series test is at times asked in exam where we need to prove that the series is given here summation n is equal to 1 to infinity of 1 by n to the power p and p is convergent for greater than 1 while it diverges in less than or equal to 1 you have to prove it and how will you prove it look here as you can see we have fn as 1 upon n to the power p now this is monotonically decreasing it's positive and it's integrable also right we will keep n as x and fx is equal to 1 upon x to the power p next we mentioned earlier that this type of series that we have here it depends on the limit of x tends to infinity 1 to xf x dx i hope this is clear to you students If the value here finally exists, then by the Cauchy integral test, what this series will be? This series here will be convergent, right? First, we will calculate its value that is one to x f x dx, where f x is given as one upon x to power p. Now, students, we already know that if value of p is one, then we will get dx upon x, and its integration will be log x, right? If this is log x, then when we put the limit, it will be log x minus log one, and log one is zero. So here, its integration value at p is equal to one is log x. Next, what will we do here? We have this one two x dx upon x. Then I calculated the value of p. As you can see here, we are getting log x, and it's log x minus log one, right? Now, if I make it limit, x tends to infinity, and if I write limit, x tends to infinity. we will get it as does not exist therefore this means that when p is equal to 1 the series will be divergent when the value is p is equal to 1 the series will be divergent now students we will see that if the p here is smaller than or greater than 1 then what will happen i want to tell you here what should we do now 1 to x 1 upon x power p dx we will calculate the value of this right first we will calculate this value what will be the value of this when we integrate it so students if we integrate this it will be x to the power minus p plus 1 upon minus p plus 1 and the limit here will be 1 to x so when we solve this we will get x power 1 minus p upon 1 minus p and if we put minus here then we will get minus 1 upon 1 minus p therefore this is the value we will get here after doing the integration now here there are two cases what is the first case the first case tells that if the value of p is more than 1 and the second case will be if value of p is less than 1 and if i make the value of p greater than 1 let's say i put 2 what did i put the value of p as 2 and when we will put 2 here then what we will get we will get 1 minus 2 right students so students if we will put the value of p as 2 then it will become 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 hence it will be like 1 upon x which means this value here will be in negative 
If it's negative, then it will be of the type of 1 upon and when you put the limit here, x tends to infinity, you will get the value as 1 to x, 1 upon x to the power p dx. Moreover, when you talk about this, then here we have kept the value of p bigger than 1. When we kept x bigger than 1, this will be negative. So, if we put it down, it will be 1 upon something and x tends to infinity, then it will be 0. So, we will get the value as 1 upon 1 minus p. This means that in this case, the value will exist finitely. Next, if we discuss about the second case here, in which the value of p is less than 1, let's say we put the value of p as 0, right? We put the value of p as 0. If you put 0, then what will we get? The value of p will be 0 and x will come on top. So, when we take limit, x tends to, limit x tends to infinity. So, listen here students, this will be x. You will see here that the limit will be 1 upon x to the power p dx and you can see here that we get its value like this. And when value of p is less than 1, then we will get x because if we are putting the value of p as 0, then this will be x. And when we will put the limit x tends to infinity, then the value we will get here will be infinite and if value of p is less than 1, then what will it be? It will be divergent. Right students? And if p is greater than 1, it will be convergent. So, this way we can prove it here and this is the way I tried to explain. At 1, it is this or it will be this. First case will be between 0 and 1, other will be greater than 1. It's finite. Therefore, for values greater than 1, it will be convergent, while for the rest, it will be divergent. We can easily prove this. We have to test the convergence of summation n equals 1 to infinity 1 upon n log n. Whenever we take Cauchy integral test, we have to see three things. The first case we have is positive. Then the second is monotonically decreasing series, while the third one is integrable. If that's the case, then think about what we can do with this. Then we will get 1 to infinity, 1 upon x log x dx, clear? What we will do is, let log x is equal to t, so 1 upon x dx and what we will get in the end, it will become dt. If we put 1 in place of x here, then log 1 will be 0, while at infinite, it will be infinite and its value is dx by x dt, so it will be dt by t, clear. If we integrate this, it will be log t and 0 to infinity. If we put in log infinity here, it will become does not exist, clear students. 8 comes does not exist, which means this series that we will get here will be divergent. Therefore, this way we can prove it easily, right? Now, let's look at this question. The summation from n equals to 1 to infinity of log n upon n is given. This also a monotonically decreasing positive and integrable. This can be solved easily. This will be 1 to infinity and here we will get log x upon x. Therefore, generally if we see we do this here, the limit, then x tends to infinity and 1 to x, okay? Then log x by x dx, I have directly put infinity here. The statement is this, I am writing this, I am putting x tends to infinity here. So students, no need to worry, we can also write it like this here, right? Now what we will do? Now what we will do? We will take log x as t, therefore here what we will get. And this 1 upon x dx will be dt. So as you can see, what we will get? Log 1 is 0, infinite to infinite, this will be t. Now, students, here we will get t square by 2 from 0 to infinity and this here, the value will be infinite, right? This means that this is divergent and this series here is also divergent, right? Hence, we can easily prove this here. Furthermore, I want to explain that if by chance this series here would be from 2 to infinity, then the limit would be 2 to infinity, right? So, this will be the difference it will make here while the rest of its behavior will not change. Now, in the next question, we have to prove whether this series is convergent or it's not convergent by using the integral test, okay? As you can see on the screen, what we will do? This here is n plus 1 type of term, then we will have this. So, it's just a big S and this one by n, n plus 1 and I can write this as n equal 2 to infinity. If I write like this, it will be sorted. It's positive, monotonically decreasing and it's integral. So, we will get its value as 2 to infinity, right? 1 upon x, x plus 1, dx. And now, students, we will see its behavior here. I hope you all are following me. So, we already know that by comparison test, we get convergence. I have already explained. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you can go to iTab and watch it. Let's do the partial fraction of this here, okay? So, I have a very good short trick for partial fractions. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it on iTab. This is a upon x plus b upon x plus 1. What should I put in place of x that a becomes 0 and if we put 0 in place of x, then it will become 0. If we put 0 here, then value of a will be 1. What should we put in place of x? So, b get 0 minus 1. This is the trick you can see it on iTab.
If we put minus 1 here, this will be minus 1 upon x plus 1, right? Now, proceeding further, we will take this value and put it here. This will become from 2 to infinity and from here, we will have its value as 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 1 and dx. On the other hand, we can also do it like this. I have put infinity here. If I did not put infinity, then I explained that I will put x and limit x tends to infinity. So, we can also do that. We will put x here. What should we do now? I will write limit x tends to infinity. Moreover, what will be the limit here? This will be limit from 0 to x and the limit is x tends to infinity. I hope this is clear to all. Then we will do its integration and when we will do the integration, we will get log x minus log x plus 1. Okay? And we will get the limit from here. So, the limit will be from 2 to x and log a minus log b will be log a by b. Hence, let us put the value of this. So, the limit here will be x tends to infinity. When we put the value here, it will be log x upon x plus 1 and the limit will be 2 to x. I hope you are getting my point here. When we put in value of this, what we will get? This is limit x tends to infinity. So, here we will get log of x upon x plus 1 minus. What will we get here? As soon as we put 2, then 2 upon 3. Okay? So, we will get log 2 by 3 here. Right, students? When we put x as infinite, this will become infinite upon infinite and it is approaching inside. When the limit moves inside, we will apply DL hospital rule and after applying DL hospital rule, this will be like this. Clear? Now, if you are unable to understand, then I want to tell you, this will be log limit x tends to infinity x upon x plus 1 minus log 2 by 3. We are getting infinity 1 and infinity 2 from DL hospital. So, what will we get here? It will be 1 and at the bottom, we have 1 minus log 2 by 3, right? When we put infinity, x will be removed. Value of log 1 will be 0. So, students, what we will get here? We will get this here as minus log 2 by 3 or we can also write it as log 3 by 2. Therefore, uh, the limit here finitely exists, right? And this means that it will be convergent and the series will also be convergent. Hence, we can easily prove this. Next, this question is also similar. Here, in the same way, we know it's decreasing and integrable and also positive, okay? So, we know what we will get. We will write from 1 to infinity or we can write x. Limit x tends to infinity. And we will get x upon x square plus 1 whole square dx and I hope this is clear. Now, what we will do? We will take x square plus 1 as t. Then what we will get? This will be 2x dx equal to dt then x dx equal to dt upon 2. Clear? You can put its value here. The limit will be x tends to infinity. And when we solve this, then we will take x square plus 1 as t square. Right, students? Now, listen here, students. The value of x dx will be dt upon 2. Therefore, this is the way to find its value here. Okay, students? We will put 1 then 1 square and at the place of x, we will write 1 then 1 square is 1. So, this will be 2. The limit is correct. And when we will put x here, we will get the limit of t as x square plus 1. Right? This will be its limit here. Okay? So, let us do the integration. It will be limit x tends to infinity. Now, let us move ahead. We will write this 1 upon 2 on the outer side and the integration of 1 upon t square will be minus 1 upon t square. Right, students? So, from here, we will get its value as minus 1 upon t and the limit will be 2 to x square plus 1. We will take this upper limit minus lower limit and this is 1 by 2. We have x tends to infinity. Now, take out the minus sign from here. If we put this value, then this will be 1 upon x square plus 1 minus and when we put 2, then this will be 1 by 2. When you put x tends to infinity, this will be 0. This will be minus 1 by 2. From here, it will be 1 by 4, which is finite. And if the value of this is finite, then this will be convergent. So, this will also be convergent and this way we can prove it here. Okay. This question is for comment box and how many seconds did you take to solve it? Please write in the comment box. If you are preparing for CSIR NetGate and IIT JAM exams and want to improve your short tricks, you can watch the video and subscribe the channel. I have 2.0 part on infinite series. You can watch it here. Thank you everyone. Bye students.